Hello, today we'll be discussing our brand new QuickBooks integration. So we'll start off here at our neighbor's home screen and let's go ahead and navigate to that QuickBooks section first off. We have a few different ways that we can find it on the platform. You'll notice this icon that says finance. You can always click that icon right from your home screen here. You can always go ahead and give it a search. Or you can also scroll down using our left-hand column here and select our Connect to QuickBooks option. If we click on this green button, this will pull us into our login page for QuickBooks, where we can log into that external account and link it with our neighbor's account. You'll see that we have our login page that pulls up here, so go ahead and either input your new information for your login, or if you logged in previously, you'll see it saved here. And you can include the verification code here. And that will go ahead and link your QuickBooks account. And you'll see that you are successfully connected. If this pop-up doesn't automatically close, we'll go ahead and manually close it here. And you'll see that we are going to have some new options that now pop up for our QuickBook invoice functionality here. For the first step in terms of generating your invoices, you'll want to create a few invoice items. So these are the typical charges that you will be um, creating these invoices around, and that's going to be under our QuickBooks setting tool. You'll see that we have a few examples here. So whether it is going to be your HOA dues, different fees or violations here, really any type of invoice item that you will be charging your residents. That can have a typical unit price here. You can choose whether or not it's taxable, and you can also include a description so that residents have more information about what that charge is. You can always edit or delete any of your existing invoice items here, but to create a new item, we'll click this green plus button. Go ahead and give it a name. So maybe this will be an overdue fee violation. Let's say that this description is um, fee to be charged after payment is five days late. We'll go ahead and put the unit price. So maybe it's gonna be a $10 overdue fee here. You can choose whether or not it is taxable and then you'll click this green save button to save that as a new line item here. Now, if we want to generate a new invoice, we'll go back to our invoices screen here. This will allow us to view all of the open invoices. Under the status bar, you can see when that invoice is due. And you can also pull up the details or download each invoice as a PDF here. To create a new invoice, we'll click this green add button up in the corner. And the first step is to assign it to the appropriate unit. So we'll click the select button to go ahead and narrow that down. If you do want to send out to multiple residents at one time, keep in mind that you can select all. So if it's a charge that will be universal to the community, you can send that out to everyone all at once. But if you did want to select specific individuals to send that out to, you can also do that by location. So once we select our street name here, this will show us all of the units that are located on Sesame Street we'll find the correct unit that we want to charge here. And we can always double check that we are sending this out to the correct person by expanding our details button here. And we can see exactly who will be receiving this invoice. We can also choose which profile type will be receiving it. So typically that's going to be our primary residence. But if you do need to bill an absentee owner or an additional resident, you can do that here as well. And then we'll go ahead and click save. This will then allow us to create the invoice date. So whatever day that that is going to be generated here. And then we can also set our due date. So if we would like to do a manual due date, we can always select an individual date here, or we can also easily select 15, 30, or 60 days in the future. We can go ahead and assign our line item here. So maybe this is gonna be an overdue fee violation. There's only one fee here, but you can increase the quantity if there are multiple charges. This will let us know our subtotal here, and then we can review the invoice. We'll double check that all of this information is correct. And once we are ready to send this out to the resident, 
we will click our Create Invoice button here. This will go ahead and show us that the invoice has been successfully created. And this will show up right here in our invoice list. Please let us know if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching.